All right, welcome back to the Burns and Gambo Show, flagship home of the Phoenix Suns here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Suns, disappointing night last night in San Antonio. It's on to the next. They're in Denver to open up this final 10-game stretch of the season before the playoffs start. And we certainly do appreciate our next guest joining us right now here for a few minutes. Royce O'Neal from the Phoenix Suns joining us here on the Burns and Gambo Show. Royce, welcome back to the show. We appreciate the time truly. Thanks for coming on, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, How you doing? yeah, we've got you on to preview the Arizona Baylor game for Thursday. Oh, but Baylor. Oh, oh no, man. man. I know. Right there. Oh, tough Baylor. game. Tough game they lost. Man, Clemson. Baylor loses to Clemson. Come on, Royce. Tough game. I know. I was watching it. I was watching it. You think that you think that do you think that team was good enough to beat Arizona and maybe North Carolina and get to the final four? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, I had a couple guys, you know, around on the team and coaches said, you know, talking about Arizona. So I was like, yeah, when they play Denver, I mean, when they play uh, Baylor, you know, they're going to lose. So, but, you know, they they fell one game short. They did. They I did. I guess I can't talk too much. <laughs> no, no, no. We thought we'd rip you a little bit on that. All right, let's – I don't I don't have a lot of words for this. What What the hell happened last night? Yeah, we just had too many turnovers, you know, too many mistakes. Uh, you know, we couldn't, you know, uh, offense there, we scored enough points, but, you know, just down, you know, to the wire, getting enough stops for us to win, you know, happens. But, you know, we got to learn from that game and, you know, hopefully, you know, a little fire in us and, you know, for these last 10 games and don't, don't make a push. There was a lot of talk after the game about taking that team too lightly, especially when Wemby wasn't out there. In retrospect, looking back on it, do you feel like you guys took them too lightly going into that game? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, I mean, you know, usually when a team doesn't have the star uh, or, you know, their main player, you know, the guys, you know, have more freedom and stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, we kind of looked at it you know, as he wasn't playing and then did take a little too lightly, but, you know, in this in this league you can't you can't do that any night any against any team, you know, so yeah, the question is like, like you know, we, we're all trying to figure. How does that happen? You guys, you lost to San Antonio twice. You've lost to Memphis and Portland, and you lost to Indiana. We didn't, we didn't have Halliburton. It is, it's odd for us to figure out how you guys would take them lightly, considering you've had a bunch of games this year that kind of mirrored that type of game. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, you know, here I wasn't here earlier. You know, in the season when you know those games happen, so I really I can't really speak on those. But yeah, last night you know just taking the team too lightly. I mean, they came out. You know, they they played hard, competed every possession. You know, made some big shots, and you know, so hats off to them. You've uh, you've been a player uh, in this league many many years, Royce. What was today's? film session with coach kind of going over what happened last night was it was it honest and raw and kind of real and and you know got to the point was it one of those I'm sure you've had a few of those was it one of those film sessions that it kind of needed to be honest and raw and real to kind of make everybody understood what happened last night and why it needs to get fixed oh yeah for sure uh definitely was an honest you know um conversation and film session that we had um you know, that's what I said. Hopefully, you know, that game last night, we learned from it, uh, you know, took the positives and the negatives and, you know, hopefully lights a fire in us and, you know, be ready to finish out the season strong and make this playoff push. The good thing is that there are no more, like, weaker opponents on your schedule. You don't, There is no ability to play down to the opponents. Everybody you are playing is a good team, a playoff team, a tough battle. Do you think that that can help you guys, you know, to be motivated because every team you're playing is a quality team? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, especially the last couple of games, we, you know, we know, you know, teams are fighting, you know, seeing for seeding and stuff, and we fighting also for a seeding as well, and, you know, playoff push. So we know how important these games are. We know every night is going to be a fight, you know. So we just got to bring our best game and lock in offensively and defensively from uh, 48 minutes. Look, a lot of us that still believe in this team, believe that this team is, is can, can, can can win – We'll point to the the game against Denver a few weeks ago. You went on the road. They were healthy. You guys beat them in their place, in their building. It was a very good game. 
Do you guys look at that game and say that's the one that proves that we could beat anybody in this league? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, every night we still go into the town that we can beat anybody. I mean, looking at our roster and where we play, uh, as long as we play the right way and, you know, lock in on both sides of the ball, you know, we're going to be able to beat anybody. And, you know, so I mean, I'll take our chances against any team in the league. Yep. Royce O'Neal is our guest here on the Burns and Gambo Show. Suns getting ready to take on the Nuggets tomorrow. You'll hear that game here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. We we talk all the time on this show, on all of the shows here uh, at the station, Royce, about the importance of staying out of the play-in tournament, about not leaving it to chance like that. How important is it, in your opinion, for you guys to be able to say that, that you stayed out of the play-in tournament, that you didn't finish seventh or eighth, so you don't have to deal with kind of the hassle that comes with being in the play-in tournament? Uh, Yeah, for sure. I mean, nobody wants to be in the play-in, so we definitely want to avoid that. And then, um, you know, hopefully get, you know, top, top six, uh, that way we can avoid it and, you know, don't have to worry about it. But, I mean, you know, we just going to focus one game at a time. You know, can't – never know what's going to happen in this league. So, but our, our chances and, you know, our – you know, thought process is to get into that top six or avoid the playing by any chance. Royce, I want to I want to ask you about the play where Sohan hit the three with 29 seconds left. Uh, Book was on Vassal. You were you were kind of you were kind of in the middle, keeping your eye on both players. When he drove, you kind of took a step or two to try to help Book out. They were able to kick it out to Sohan. He hits the three. Give me give me your thought process on what you were seeing and your defensive alignment on that final play. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was you know, I mean, he hadn't made a three all. You know, all game and had a couple in a couple of games. So, you know, I was just providing help, you know, on the gap, and then you know they just made a good play, and he finally knocked down a three, and that just happened to be the most the one that was most crucial in the you know game winning one. So, uh, I mean, I could have, I should have moved out, but you know, I mean, I was just playing the game and you know playing presenters. So, yeah, Royce, like, if he would have missed it, if he would have missed it, would have won. Nobody would have said nothing. Right, right, right. He just happened to make it, so it happens. Yeah. Royce, we appreciate the time. As always, thanks for joining us, especially guys on the road like that with how busy you are. Uh, Best of luck against Denver tomorrow, and we appreciate the conversation, okay? Thanks, Royce. Appreciate it. Uh, Yeah. Royce O'Neal joining us live from the team bus, it sounded like, as they are in Denver getting ready to take on the Nuggets tomorrow. There you go. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.